What's going on guys? Sticks here with the Token Minorities bringing you another deck on Pokemon TCGO and today I am bringing you a very... Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to call it fun. This is just a horrible, horrible deck, but it's kind of a cool idea, but again, it's horrible. Centered around Gliscor from Guardians Rising with Finishing Stinger. Uh, basically, we're just going to try to set this up to do damage whenever possible. And Okay, this is an awful, awful deck, but I'll get into why it's awful in a little bit but before i get into the deck completely just a reminder that if you like this video or found it helpful please leave a like drop a comment and click that subscribe button it helps us out a ton and lets us do more cool stuff for you guys and as for the question of the day i do have to warn you guys i am very very busy today so this is going to have to be a shorter live i do apologize and my question of the day is kind of from is kind of on that same vein what is the ideal video length for you guys so as a rule of thumb i try to keep it right around a half hour like generally 30 minutes is normally my cutoff if it's like a minute within if it's a minute short then i'm like you know what that's okay but if it's a, if it's a minute longer or two then it's not a huge deal if the matches weren't like particularly amazing during that live then i try to do a couple more just because okay tcgo was not cooperating that day and giving me good matches so i might as well just try to give you a little bit more content to make up for the bad matches so for that i do apologize as well but what's the ideal video length that you guys want to see because i know in the past i used to go 20 minutes was what i would go for when i first started but then i realized that that just wasn't enough to show off the deck that was maybe enough for one decent match uh 30 minutes was what i kind of started to go for because i know some people don't like seeing the hour long videos like the hour the 45 minute to an hour videos even though i do do some of those from time to time but I know that that's not necessarily what people want to see, so I try to stick right around a half hour, give the people that want to see me play with the deck a lot a couple matches, but also keep it shorter and sweeter for those that don't want to stick around for like an entire hour video. So yeah, let me guys, let me know in the comment section below what's your guys' ideal video length. And now that I think of how I just worded that question, I realize that it could be taken as a euphemism. I was not intended to be a euphemism. But you know what? If you guys want to run with that, then go for it. Go absolutely nuts. Pun not intended. But anyway, on to the deck. Like I said, it is centered around Gliscor and Decidueye. And by at this point, you guys know what Decidueye does. Feather Arrow, once during your turn, you may put two damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon. I mean, just spreads damage around, Hollow Hunt GX, search your discard pile for three cards and put them in your hand. Just a very 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 good card and in no and it's yeah it's gotten a full art and everything but i haven't gotten my hands on those quite yet still working on it and uh honestly i think i'm out of decidui decks too so even if i do get the full arts y'all won't necessarily see them anytime soon so uh there's that as well uh but yeah decidui you guys know what it does it has whole decks centered around it has it's had a ton of success it's a very 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 good card now the card that's not nearly as good and is actually kind of awful but is what this deck is centered around is Gliscor with finishing stinger one energy uh, for a fighting energy does 70 damage if your opponent's active Pokemon has no damage counters on it before this attack does nothing before this attack does damage this attack does nothing so basically in that convoluted wording if your opponent doesn't have any damage counters finishing stinger does absolutely zero and then guillotine does three for 90 which is bad so we're not going to be doing that at all the only reason it worked with decidueye is because decidueye had feather arrow to rack up damage but gliscor does not have that it does not have the bulk that decidueye does does not have the longevity or the spread damage so uh yeah we're just going to be focusing on finishing stinger and trying to just put damage counters on our opponent's active pokemon with decidueye so that way gliscor can actually do some damage and potentially take knockouts now overall like the idea okay on paper one for, okay so with a choice band and a strong energy for one energy you're doing 120 damage which is insane like that's absurd that you're able to do that much with a kakui you're doing 140 which is i mean you literally just doubled the base power of this attack so this attack is not bad like in fact one for 70 is a very 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 good uh attack cost however Life score is just not good enough like 110 hp doesn't have the longevity finishing stinger you need to have a decidueye up in order to be able to actually like take advantage of it and use it properly so 
This is a bad deck, guys. I'm just letting you know right now. It's a bad deck, but it's really cool when you can get it going. Uh, but I, I did have fun with this. I did have fun with this deck, so I'm not just going to be like, oh, it's just never use this deck. So when I say it's a bad deck, that's just me being like, wow, I love this deck, but it's just atrocious. So, yeah, that's what type of I this deck is bad. Uh, as for the numbers of Pokemon, actually running pretty heavy because, I mean, we're running Decidueye, so of course it's going to be a pretty heavy numbers of Pokemon. 2-1 two, uh, two of Lele and Shaman, just because, I mean, that's what I'm going more towards now. This deck needs a little bit of extra extension on some turns. Uh, because of Forest of Giant Plants trying to, trying to get a Decidueye out turn 1, start spreading damage. So Shaman's nice for that, and then Lele is just always amazing. Uh, as for the Pokemon 4-4 four, four of Gligar and Gliscor, because, I mean, Gliscor's main attacker of this deck. And then the Gligar I'm using is actually from Roaring Skies because of Stun Poison, can buy you a turn, and also potentially get damage counters on your opponent uh, in the proper scenario. So I know that the other, Glys the other uh, Gligar actually puts damage counters on two of your opponent's Pokemon. I mean, that's that could be... I mean, that technically does have better synergy with Gliscor, but in all reality, if you're attacking with Gligar, that means you want to buy a turn to get a Gliscor set up, so I decided to go with the uh, Paralyze and Poison Gligar instead of the Damage Gligar. Definitely up to you. Uh, that's just my preference. 3-3-3 uh, three, 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 uh, Rowlet through Decidueye. Because Decidueye is so important to this deck, I know that we could potentially only run two to get the ener to get the damage that we need on a on my opponent's Pokemon. But at the same time, like if we're going to be running, well, two 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 just didn't get a Decidueye up consistently enough for me, so I decided to go with a three three three. Because I mean, also Decidueye having two Decidueye in play is twice as good as having one. So I mean, that's I know that that's simple math, but it actually helps set up a lot of KOs, which are very, very important in this deck. As for the items, running one Field Blower, because, I mean, again, Garbotoxin just shuts this deck down completely. It doesn't allow me to spread damage, which doesn't allow me to, you know, damage people and win the game. So that's why there is one copy of Field Blower in there. I mean, we lose to Garbodor anyway. Field Blower just gives us kind of a fighting chance, potentially, maybe, question mark? Not really. Uh, as for the search options... Running 2-4 of uh, Level Ball and Ultra Ball. Level Ball searches out Gligar, Rowlet, and Dartrix, while Ultra Ball just guarantees get you the Pokemon that you want when you want it. One Rescue Stretcher in case we don't have a Forest of Giant Plants up yet. And also lets us recur our Gly scores because, I mean, that's the main attacker. It's not very bulky. 110 HP, I mean, is literally just as bulky as Shaman, so that thing's going to get knocked out repeatedly. Rescue Stretcher lets you recur those. One special charge to get back our strong energy, because strong energy on Gliscor is what we need in order for this to do significant enough damage to actually work. So the strong energy are incredibly important, which is why I decided to put a special charge in there to be able to get those back in the deck. For VS Secret, let us reuse all of our supporters, and as for these supporters, have my typical 332 line of Sycamore and, and Lysander, just because I mean that's what I'm comfortable with, it's what I like, and then in a deck especially where it's not like particularly well actually i'm not even going to say it's not particularly meta it's not meta it is a bad deck idea um but in a deck where you're just kind of gimmicking the heck out of your opponent you have to just go with what you're most comfortable with to give you the best chance to potentially get things going so that's why i'm just going with the end sycamore line and lysander that i usually do uh we have one olympia because why would we run a couple float stones Decidueye still has that two retreat cost, so if you get that out there early, uh, we don't run any DCE, so you can't just attach and retreat, so it's two manual attachments in order to get Decidueye going, which is something you don't want to do, so Olympia is in there to get Decidueye out of the active, and then one Kikui just to boot, boost the damage output, which we desperately need in this deck. I mean, this deck needs all the damage it can get. Four Force to Giant Plants for obvious reasons. Uh, yeah, even if Fighting Stadium was still legal... I would use Forest of Giant Plants just because of Decidueye. As for the tools, running three Choice Band and two Float Stones. Choice Band obviously boosts damage output. Float Stone gives our Decidueye's free retreat. Four Strong Energy, absolute max number to boost the damage output of our Gly scores. Two Regular Fighting, just as something that we can put on Gly score to still attack if we don't have a Strong Energy, but also something that we can potentially power up Decidueye with if we need to. And then I also have two regular grass energies as well, mainly for hollow hunt. That is almost the entire reason I am using grass energies to be able to hollow hunt. But you can also potentially razor leaf 
if you need to, but then that's committing three of your four non-strong energies to Decidueye, which is something you don't necessarily want to do. But I mean, hey, you do what you have to. Mainly the grass is there to be able to hollow hunt. So uh, yeah, that's a deck. It's a fairly straightforward idea, but it's a bad idea. So uh, let's hope I don't get blown back too horribly much when I use this deck. So yeah, let's go ahead and see it in action. Alrighty, we have found one against uh, Vicro Best with a uh, Psychic Grass and Lightning deck, so honestly I have zero idea. I mean, it looks kind of like the Vikavolt Bulu deck that's been running around a little bit, but we will we'll see what my opponent is running. If it is that, then we actually might have a decent matchup because of uh, Choice Band being able to hit me for a little bit more. Granted, my opponent can just... KO me without discarding, so there's that as well. And actually, I'll be honest, this deck really doesn't have any good matchups. There is there's no such thing as a good matchup with this deck. Uh, I do start with a okay a hand. I mean, I'll be able to get a Rowlet out. I have a Gliger. I'll be able to Strong Energy and Choice Band that thing up. So, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, we see the Lele. And this, okay, never mind. This hand sucks. So, what I'm going to do is Ultra Ball, get rid of the... I mean, I'm going to be discarding those energy anyway. So, might as well just go ahead and grab a Rowlet, play that down. I mean, ideally I'd get a Decidueye so I can start piling up damage onto the Lele. Then let's play the Strong Energy, Float Stone, and Choice Band. And then Sycamore for a fresh hand. And actually, you know what? This isn't too bad. Uh, I would like my Strong Energy, or my uh, Special Charge, that way I can put the Strong Energy back in the deck. But for the time being, being able to turn one Feather Arrow a Lele is not a bad thing at all. And I will be able to evolve into a Gliscor next turn, hit that thing with a uh, for a ton of damage, and go from there. So we'll see. Even a DCE will not be able to knock out my will not allow uh, will not allow the Lele to knock out my Gliger. So Gliger being a little bit uh, being a little bit bulkier is very nice for me. And did he just fail the level ball? I don't know, I was like zoning out. Uh, but we do see an Oddish come down and a Float Stone, so this is a Vile Plume deck. But I honestly have zero idea, like what other... What would be the Lightning in the Vile Plume deck? That's very interesting to say the least. So my opponent does Lele. Uh, hopefully, let's see. Okay, so I really just hope he does not get a, a Vile Plume set up because I'd really like to be able to get another Decidueye going this turn so that I can, uh, you know, play a little bit more, uh, damage a little bit more, and also just be able to spread out more damage, because, okay, just plays the regular lightning onto the Lele. That is fine with me, because, uh, all right, so, what, what is this deck? I honestly have zero idea what my opponent is running. We see the lightning come down, but... Is this, like, supposed to be a Tapu Koko Vileplume deck? I mean, it's an interesting concept, don't get me wrong, but... I don't know, it just seems slightly... confusing or convol and convoluted. Um, my opponent, VS Seekering, for a... for the Sycamore, tells me that he probably has the ability to get a Vileplume up turn one, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, it's Trevenant as well. I don't know. So this is <laughs> Trevenant, Vile Plume, but Lightning Energy are being run in the deck. I'm very confused. I have no idea what type of deck my opponent is running. But either way, it's a Vile Plume, so it's annoying. Uh, <laughs> I mean, on the bright side, I will be able to hit this Lele for 120 damage this coming turn. Which puts it at 160. Um... Yeah, not quite enough. So, unfor slightly unfortunate. My opponent is, yep, there's the Gloom and the Vile Plume. We saw a Ultra Ball for that. So, we are now item locked. Very unfortunate. Uh, but hopefully I will be able to play some more stuff out. Let's go ahead and evolve the Gliger into a Gliscor. And then N, get a fresh hand of six. Hopefully something else that I can play down. And, I mean, this is okay. Uh, I would have liked to have had a supporter that's not a VS Seeker. So what I am going to do is just go ahead and Feather Arrow the Lele because I will be able to, uh, I will be able to actually knock that thing out with a, a Feather Arrow next turn. 
And yeah, we're in a great spot. Uh, oh wait. No, I can't knock that thing out with a Feather Arrow next turn because I still need to damage something in order for Finishing Stinger to do any damage. So, bit of an oversight on my part. Uh, we'll just have to play around it, see what we can get going. Uh, Lele will be able to hit me for some damage, but I will be able to start spreading out the damage a little bit. He'll only be able to hit me for... Uh, he'll only be able to hit me for... 60 damage at the most if he des does decide to play an energy but then he also loses his attachment for the turn and then he ends me into another hand which i am completely okay with actually like my hand was decent but it wasn't great and what i oh so this is actually kind of cool so phantom comes down that thing's going to be a problem uh what i am going to go ahead and do is evolve my gliger in one of them into gly score and then play a strong energy onto that. And then what I think I actually might do is save my choice band. Yeah, because I'm going to be able to get a knockout on this Lele anyway. I'm conserving the choice band. Let's go ahead and Feather Arrow. Let's just Feather Arrow the Phantom. Put it in range of a Feather Arrow plush finishing Stinger next turn if it evolves into a Trevenant. And then knock out the Lele to take two prizes. There's a Rowlet and a Sycamore. I'm completely okay with this. Uh, he will be able to knock me out with Trevenant, unfortunately, and there is a Sycamore. But what I will actually... I could Kukui. Actually, I could even... Yeah, I could Kukui in order to be able to knock out the Trevenant and put the finishing Stinger damage elsewhere. Uh, so he is just going to Poltergeist. Hits me for weakness. I have absolutely... <clears throat> no chance of surviving that literally the only chance i have is if i have one trainer card in my hand and that's honestly never going to happen i'm just being realistic uh, on the bright side well at least i'm going to be able to sycamore away a ton of items and i could uh go for a feather arrow into uh i could go for a feather arrow into finishing stinger but i think the play is just to uh Oh, the play was obviously to Sycamore to get a better hand. And I get actually some pretty solid stuff. So what I can do, play another Rowlet down, play another Gliscor down. And this is... I'm in an interesting spot right now. So I can knock out the Trevenant. I definitely can. But is that the play? I think the play is actually... Let's start damaging that Phantom. Play the Grass Energy onto Decidueye and then Hollow Hunt. This way I can have ways of playing around different things. And then let's just grab a Gligar, a Sycamore, and a Strong Energy. That way I at least have some backup attackers going. I would have liked to grab a, De a Decidueye, but at the same time, I mean, I should draw. I should draw into it theoretically. But yeah, I mean. My uh, Decidueye is going to take a hit. That's not a big deal. Uh, he does just Lysander. Lysander's in the Gliscor, so of course he had the Lysander in his hand. Uh, and then he's going to Poltergeist me, uh, knock out my Gliscor. So that was an unfortunate turn of events right there. But, I mean, what can you do? There's There was honestly nothing I could do about that. So let's just send up Decidueye. Uh, let that... Let that thing just, well, I mean, with its floatstone, and I mean, at least I'm drawing into items that I can just discard with Sycamore. So let's strong energy up my other Gliscor, and then just Sycamore away. Try to draw into some better stuff. Uh, that counts as better stuff. So let's go ahead and play that one down. And then I'm going to be able to knock out... Okay, how do I want to do this? I can knock out the Phantom right now. I can just straight up knock it out. And even though Finishing Stinger isn't quite going to be a knockout on the Trevenant. Hmm. Or do I try to force my opponent to have a Lysander? Because by knocking out this Phantom, I'm getting rid of a DCE. And then if I hit the Trevenant, it will be a Feather Arrow away from getting knocked out. But at the same time, uh, I will be essentially sacrificing my Gliscor, which is my last attacker that I have uh so yeah let's just go ahead and do that I get a regular fighting energy which means I can power up a score in the back if I need to 
And do I want to just leave it up there? Leave it up there, take a hit, and then I can Feather Arrow into Finishing Stinger next turn. But I'm not going to risk my opponent having a Lysander. I mean, I don't know. Like, I could... Okay, so what the play I wanted to make was just leave Glyscore up there. Or leave Decidueye up there. Let it take a hit. Bank on the fact that my opponent would not have a Lysander. But uh, did he have one? No, he did not. So... Yeah, I mean, it didn't end up paying off. I should have just left Decidueye up there, let it take a hit, and that way I can save. I could have saved my Glide score for next turn, but I mean, my opponent has another Trevenant anyway. So, I don't know. I, I, still think I, I still think my play was a smart one. Or I still think my play was the smarter one. So he does just Sycamore and Shaman uh, evolves into another Trevenant. So, yeah, I mean, he's going to be able to knock me out, but I will be able to Feather Arrow this... Uh, Trevenant take a knockout on that, and hopefully this last Gliger can carry me the rest of the way. If I can get a Dartrix somehow, then I'll be able to actually win the game off that. Um, but I have Lysander, so how do I want to do this? Let's go ahead and play the... Yeah, let's play it onto this. Lysander up to Shaman. Force my opponent to have something. And then let's Feather Arrow... The Trevenant just knocking that thing out. I mean, just I want to take a prize. Maybe if I can get a Dartrix, then I'll be able to get another Decidueye. I do not, but I do get a Fighting Energy, which is exactly what I need to be able to knock out the Shaman next turn. So if my opponent does not disrupt my hand or have, if he, okay, so he has to have a DCE to Sky Return, and he has to, or he has to disrupt my hand. Uh, if he has either of the, well, there's the DCE, so crap. Um, and he has a Skull of what? That makes zero sense to play right now. So, of course my opponent got the Skull Grunt as soon as I got another energy. And I'm I'm starting to run low. I don't know if I have enough energy to win the game. It's getting close at this point. So he does send up the Lele. Um, I could Lysander. But you know what? I'm just going to Lele see if I can grab that other Sycamore, uh, which I do have. And then there's a strong energy left in my deck. So just a strong energy. So Gliscor has to be my way to win this game. So let's go ahead and Sycamore. Get a fresh hand of seven. Uh, and what is the lightning that my opponent's running? I'm I'm actually pretty clueless. Uh, there we go. So I draw so luckily I draw into the Gliscor and the strong energy, which should theoretically put me in a position to be able to win this game. Because I can feather arrow the Lele. I can feather arrow it twice, actually. And then I'll be able to uh, retreat into my Gliscor, put a strong energy on it, and then hit this Lele with a Finishing Stinger, which actually puts it in range of two Feather Arrows next turn. So unless my opponent has... Unless my opponent plays Psychic Energy, then I think we just win. Because even if he knocks out the Gliscor, two Feather Arrows are more than enough to win the game. And yes... If Glyscore does go down, I'm out of energy. But, I mean, again, I have two Feather Arrows waiting to knock out the Lele, which will win me the game. And, yeah, so somehow, somehow Glyscore was able to come through in the end and uh, just do enough damage to secure us the game. I mean, I'm saying this, although my opponent could pull out, like, a Miraculous Hex Maniac Super Scoop Up or something like that. Just some crazy. Play another Lele and a Psychic Energy and then Tapu Cure. But we do see the Tapu Coco come down. So, honestly, I have no idea. Like, I'm, I'm, in, I'm as confused as you guys are at this point. <laughs> but luckily, we are able to win the game. So just Feather Arrow the Lele twice. And that will be the KO. Take the last two prizes and we win. So, <laughs> somehow, oh, there's my field blower. I mean, it wouldn't have done me much good. But somehow, Glyscore was able to come through and beat a Trevenant Vileplume deck. I mean, granted, that was a pretty interesting version of Trev Vileplume. But still, we're able to come through and take the win. So, you know what? That's, that's a win with this bad of a deck. Um, and again, guys, I apologize that this is a shorter live. I just very pressed for time today, but I still wanted to bring you guys a deck. So, uh, I decided to bring you a awful but kind of cool deck idea and i was able to get a very good game with it so 
Even though it was shorter, I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And this is Sticks signing out. Why not? See you guys.